We are following another big story tonight. The plan to turn an empty parking lot in Norfolk into a world-class destination. Norfolk City Council revealed a lot of new information about a proposed casino complex. It would sit right next to Harbor Park. The renderings are stunning. It shows a glistening tower standing tall on the banks of the Elizabeth River. But before that becomes a reality, a lot has to happen. Namely, continued cooperation between the city and the Pamunkey Indian tribe. Janu Her starts us off tonight. The long-awaited details are finally out. City of Norfolk officials shared the latest updates on a potential casino with city council. So we really think this is uh, a game changer and, and puts Norfolk um, really at the at the center of uh, the mid-Atlantic for a, a tourism destination. In today's meeting, officials say the $700 million Pamunkey Tribe Casino will have between 35 to 4,500 slots, between one to 200 table games, as well as hundreds of hotel rooms, parking, and restaurants. Preliminary scope, though, is a major resort casino, um, $700 million. Uh, this would be one of the largest development projects in the city of Norfolk's history. The tribe's chief, Robert Gray, said in a video he's excited to partner with the city to make this happen. Of course, one of the major talking points is the economic economic impact. Interim Director of Development Jared Chalk says the tribe plans to purchase the land from the city for $10 million and the city won't be responsible to build any infrastructure. The tribe is paying for all the infrastructure, all the utilities. As far as what the casino will bring in, city manager Doug Smith says the high end will bring in more than $800 million. 33 of that goes to the city. This is if the tribe chooses to make it a tribal casino versus a commercial casino. So the deal requires for uh, under no circumstances would we be paid less than three million dollars uh, a year. All right, Chanu, obviously a lot of information. Yeah, so, absolutely. So what comes next in the process? All right, so next, uh, uh, Doug Smith is suggesting a public hearing on the 24th, which will also include a public comment. However, uh, Councilwoman Andrea McClellan challenged that a little bit, saying that she's worried that's way too soon. And as far as the plans that were presented tonight, she says she can only get behind that if that includes money for flooding and schools. So, oh. of course, there, yeah, there's a lot to this still, and we'll continue to follow these updates and bring you the latest right here on 13 News Now. You definitely right. have not heard the last of this one. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Thank thanks. you. So how would this casino compare to others? Well, Rosie's Gaming Emporium in New Kent has about 700 gaming machines. Norfolk's casino, if built, could have as many as 4,500. That's more than MGM National Harbor outside of D.C. They have around 3,100.